This is a map of California showing Amtrak uh, trains and throughway buses and other related services and in contemplating perhaps a tourist travel by Amtrak. Amtrak has this nice map showing the daytime and nighttime portions and uh, the nighttime portions for the West Coast Starlight are uh, feasible mostly south of San Francisco. Uh, the Zephyr is also available. Here's a map of Northern California where I've delineated all the major uh, trains, not the wine train. We're talking about real trains, including the um, Altamont uh, Corridor Service, uh, the BART, the Caltrain. Uh, here's a stylized map. In fact, it's so stylized it doesn't differentiate the BART trains very well. Uh, one might be arriving at the airport in San Francisco, and it turns out that the uh, Caltrain uh, service is not easily accessible from the airport. Here's another version showing that. Probably uh, a little bit the more expensive, more stops, but somewhat faster to go by BART. If one does take Caltrain, there's three types of service, the local, the express, and the super speedy baby bullet and not too convenient to the airport going to San Jose and sometimes further. This is BART, Bay Area Rapid Transit. Very speedy, very modern, and generally provides uh, quick access anywhere. Uh, Richmond, way up there, is good for most Amtrak trains, but not the Starlight. Connecting from San Francisco to Richmond to be able to get to most Amtrak trains is a direct service midday weekdays. However, it is not available directly on weekends or off hours. Connections northbound are best done at 19th Street in Oakland where they wait for each other and southbound at MacArthur where they wait for each other. Here are tables to illustrate that point. If you're coming from uh, San Francisco, you'd head toward Pittsburgh Bay Point, transferring at 19th Street. Then if you're coming from Richmond, starting in a direction toward Fremont, but change at MacArthur, and then you take the train uh, continuing on to San Francisco. Here are some rail schedules I've contemplated for our uh, Northern California journey, and you'll see they're detailed with the stops for the Starlight being perhaps better done using the throughway bus, only 85 cents more to San Francisco Ferry. The connection to Oakland, Jack London, can be made if one goes to Lake Merritt a couple of blocks over. Here's service on the Altamont Corridor Line, the old Western Pacific. Interestingly, it is only for service for workers in San Jose, westbound only in the mornings, eastbound only in the afternoons. Thus, one has to start either at San Jose or perhaps Fremont with about a 7, 8, 9, 10 block walk over from the ACE Altamont Station to the Fremont Station. Likewise, in Stockton, the Amtrak station, lower center here, is accessed by a bus from the ACE station, and uh, that costs another 760 or more, much as the train itself, and the layover is such that a nice good brisk walk and a chance to get a bite to eat is well worth the difference. Thus, a travel around Northern California, if you want to take the Altamont line, uh, it seems like you have to start in the west, go east, go up to Stockton, maybe continuing to Sacramento, but easier back to uh, Richmond than BART back to San Francisco. You want to try the Caltrain, you can go up or down, coming back on the Capital Corridor service from, say, San Jose, and you can make the convenient connection back to San Francisco via Richmond. Uh, again, for the Starlight, no Richmond stop. It's not timed for such. And maybe get on at uh, Oakland, come back using the throughway bus for the nice view of the new Bay Bridge to the ferry in San Francisco. Capital Corridor Line to Sacramento is available. And, of course, the California Zephyr offers a nice day trip to Roseville.